lots of big waterfalls and the fish have no problems climbing them. These are inching climbers. They thrive in the waters of Hawaii. They talk about a fish with an amazing life story. They hatch in streams and are washed out to sea. As juveniles, they head back toward land, facing a gauntlet of predators. Then, to reach the safe haven of their freshwater spawning area, they literally scale waterfalls. What would that climb be like for a human? When we compare to the size of the organism, it's actually like climbing Mount Everest three times over uh, in a very short period of time. With support from the National Science Foundation, biologist Heiko Schoenfuss of St. Cloud State University and his team study these extraordinary fish. The goal, to better understand how they've adapted and evolved in form and function to accomplish such vertical feats. The inching climber is a species of goby fish. Check out its suckers. That's how it climbs the waterfall, by suctioning onto the rock behind. So this is an adult size Heopter Stimsoni. We can see the enlarged upper lip and the suction cup that holds onto the surface. It uses an inching up climbing style, advances the head, attaches with the oral sucker, moves the rest of the body upwards, and then attaches with the pelvic sucker. Key anatomical features show how the fish has adapted to its life cycle. Shonfu says understanding how these highly specialized organisms have evolved has implications beyond just one type of fish. The challenge in our case is climbing waterfalls, but it can also be extrapolated to other species and whether it's a human-induced selective pressure, pollution or warming of waters, we can learn about how adaptation occurs over long and short periods of time. Shonfu studies lots of fish in his lab, but no inching climbers. They don't do well in tanks. But he and his team go regularly to Hawaii to study them. I would like to know more about uh, how physiology of the fish is related to anatomy. So how much muscle is working and you know, how harmonious the muscles are with the body movement. Shonfus also studies how fish in rivers like the Mississippi near his Minnesota campus adapt to chemicals in the water. He's particularly concerned about pharmaceuticals and other bioactive products that we humans let seep into our waterways. Trying to remove them from the water column, trying to keep those chemicals from going in the water in the first place is a really big challenge. Maybe not as big a challenge as the harrowing journey of the inching climber. Now that's taking evolution to new heights. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.